Hi there, welcome to BoxPred. This is my prediction video for a fight that's happening this weekend for the European Super Middleweight title. And it's between the current champion, Piotr Wilczowski, and James DeGale. Um, now, my prediction for this fight is a victory for James DeGale. And I am going to go for a victory by decision. Uh, for reasons I will now explain. Um, let's talk about the champion. Um, Wilzowski. Um, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly, but that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, Wilzowski, he um, is not a guy to be underestimated here. He's obviously the champion. Um, I feel that you know this this guy sometimes starts off um, a little bit hesitant um, and um, keeps his guard up well, but he he's not afraid to let his punches go as the fight go on, goes on. He basically won this title um, by um, having having a pretty pretty much a war with um, uh, Askinen, I think it was, and he fights well on the inside. I think his comfort zone is pressuring fighters on the inside, and if you let him in, then he can start to try and wear you down. Um, the thing in this fight is, I don't think James DeGale is going to l to give him that chance. I think he's going to. James DeGale is going to be a bit to um, keep his distance. He's going to dictate distance. I think he's going to um, try and counter Wilsowski to keep him uh, keep him basically a bit hesitant with coming in, and basically uh, to neutralise that pressure. One thing I don't think DeGale should do is take this fight to the inside and start ha having a sort of bit of a war with this guy because that's when this guy gets a bit dangerous. Uh, Wilsowski doesn't have the greatest power. But like all boxers, if you give him the chance, you never know what can happen. And James DeGale needs to be careful there. Um, like I said, Wilsowski doesn't mind letting his hands go. Um, he can, uh, especially on the inside, he can start working the body. Um, and that's where I th feel he's in his element. The reason I think that um, James DeGale will get the decision here rather than stopping this guy is because one, Wilsowski is quite durable. And two, I think that after losing to Groves in his last fight, he's going to be very cautious about... You know he's not going to really, he's not going to want to lose this one, um, or make any any mistakes or fatal errors. Um, so I think he's going to be a bit more. Um, he's going to like keep his distance. Uh, he'll know he doesn't want it to go on the inside. He doesn't want to trade punches with this guy. He wants to tactically win this fight. Um, and he, I think he's going to pick his shots, pick them wisely. I think he's going to land the cleaner, crisper punches. I think he's just going to have too much skill for Will Willsowski. Um, and I think in the end it's going to be um, boxing skill um, that gets the Gale through this. And I think he's going to win um, by decision. I think that's what's going to stop him from getting the uh, from going all out for the for the knockout. Unless he obviously gets Wilsowski in trouble off, you know, a shot that hurts Wilsowski, and then all of a sudden he he wants to take his chance and get in there. I think he's going to be a bit more cautious than that, and I think that's going to be determining factor in the victory by decision. Um, but you know he could get the stoppage realistically um, if he gets some early success, leading in, uh, going on into the fight. And if there was a stoppage, I expected to come in the second half of the fight, possibly towards the perhaps tenth round. Um, so yeah, they're my points on the fight. I think uh, James De Gale w uh, wins the European super middleweight title here, um, and I think that uh, he does it by unanimous decision. Um, I think boxing skill rules a day here and if t I think the girl keeps it keeps a clear head doesn't get drawn in and I think that he ke maintains distance and you know keeps it strictly boxing so that's my opinion on the fight uh, thank you for watching this is Boxpread and I'm out